What's up, YouTube? I'm here at my beard oil manufacturing facility. It's located in a very rural area. It's just outside of St. Louis. Jen and Minion are hanging out while I'm touring everything. My beard oils and beard butters are manufactured in this clean room. This facility doesn't make any beard care products except for me. All my storage of everything is here. This is where the inventory is, ready to ship out. I love using this company because they use all my recipes. If I want to tweak anything just a little bit, all I have to do is make a phone call and it happens. Enough about the inventory though. Let's go into the clean room and see what's happening. This machine on the left is what's used to make my beard butter. It heats and stirs the liquid. Well, it's liquid once it's heated up. And this is the dispenser for my beard oil. We're going to make the beard butter first. Basically start by pouring the different oils that go into it. And then there's a bunch of essential oils. It depends on the blend. All the ingredients are listed on my products on the website, narrowwayhomestead.com. Of course, two of the ingredients in the beard butter is a butter of sorts. So it's actually carefully weighed out on this tray on a scale. Truthfully, I'd make a lot more money if I had this stuff made in China instead of choosing USA manufacturing, but I don't feel like I would have the control over it and what goes into it and how it all works. Plus, I'm quite sure they wouldn't allow me to actually tour the facility. All the butter is put into the oil that was put in initially, and it's basically brought up to temperature. It takes a couple hours, but one type of butter and then another type of butter. This butter you actually cut with a butter knife. It just makes more sense to break it up into small chunks to stir it in there. Otherwise, it just takes an eternity to actually melt down. Voicing over long videos is a little more difficult than I anticipated. I'm so used to creating short-form content, but I'm going to keep giving it a try anyway. Um, you guys have gotten me up to 106,000 subscribers. We've gained 62,000 subscribers here on YouTube in the last 30 days. Incredible. Anyway, while we're waiting for all that to melt down in the beard butter machine, we're going to make the beard oil and clean up after ourselves. They're really good at keeping everything really spotless in here, which is just awesome for product quality control. All the oils are added, the base oils anyway, which are partly what helps with the um, hydration. The base oils are pretty much everything. The essential oils really just add fragrance for the most part, although they do have some different benefits. Again, it's all listed as ingredients on the website. You can look them up and then look up each ingredient. They're all natural. I refuse to put chemicals in these products and then make outrageous claims such as they make your hair grow faster or make it grow where it doesn't grow at all or anything like that. The stuff isn't a miracle grow for your face. It hydrates the skin under the beard, keeping it nice and itch-free and keeping it from flaking, which is essentially like dandruff. Once all the oil is dispensed into bottles, then all the caps go on. They're actually eyedroppers to make it easier to dispense. We started out just doing regular caps, but nobody wants to tip a beard oil container over in their hand to get some out. And we've got Minion playing with a random water jug for no reason. This is inserted into the video, but he was amusing me, so I just had to film it because he's awesome. All right, back to the beard oil. Make sure all the lids are tightened. I'm actually going to show you guys how I apply it. The beard butter is best for the beard itself, at least if you have a long beard like I do. But the oil, you want to dispense a small amount, like a dime-shaped amount, into your hand. Rub it so it's all over your fingers, and then you want to actually massage it into the beard. I really like to start underneath and actually get it to the skin, because your face produces natural oils. It's enough to hydrate your face, unless you grow a beard, and then usually, with most people, the oils actually can't keep up. So you end up having a... Uh, dry skin underneath there as your body tries to hydrate all the hair. On to the labeler. This is a pretty straightforward process. It's kind of labeling by hand, but it's not quite the same as actually taking the sticker and trying to line it up on the bottle. That's extremely difficult. It's far easier to do it this way. For some reason, the camera switched the other way on me. Apparently, I'm having all sorts of recording issues, but hopefully you guys are kind enough to watch this video anyway, despite my unprofessional video um, skills. Once all the bottles are filled and labeled, they get put in a Ziploc bag to make sure they don't leak during shipping and then actually stuffed into a canvas bag with the Narrowway Homestead logo on it, tied off and sealed, and then they're put back into a container that will be ready for you guys to order. 
The scents I currently have are Essence of Sawdust, Fresh Roast Coffee, Off Grid Evening, which is a cherry tobacco, and Minion Secret Formula, which is kind of a musk scent. Most essential oils are bad for dogs, and while this product isn't designed for dogs, I wanted to use ingredients that were completely safe for Minion. You never know when he's going to jump up on me and start licking my beard or something. Alright, now the beard butter has been sitting here being stirred incrementally, and it's finally all dissolved, ready for the essential oils. They all get poured in there, depending which scent we're doing. I think I'm doing Essence of Sawdust in this video. I don't even remember. But anyway, it's all blended together, and then it's dispensed out of the bottom into these little tubs, which is how you guys get it. Most of the beard butters I've used I've not really liked because they were kind of greasy and smeary, and the formula I came up with really isn't that way at all. It comes out as a liquid, it gets the lid screwed onto it, and it actually hardens into a solid. Um, it's not real solid, but it depends how cold it is. Basically, when you apply it, you actually dig it out with your finger and let it completely melt into your hands before you put it on the beard. It's not as easy as applying a product with petroleum jelly, um, but it doesn't give you that nasty, smeary feeling in your beard. I'm just really picky about how the products behave in my beard. This video really isn't an advertisement for purchasing these. It's more for people that have purchased it or are thinking about it, and I just want to show the behind-the-scenes process of how it all works. Again, thanks for all the subscribers, and I'll start uploading more long-form content.